guys welcome to my channel so today I am going to be showing you how to do this look and this is like an inverted reverse smoky eye so basically the shadows focus more on the inside and then it's like smoked outwards with a big line. I went really crazy with my liner but really winged it out. This look has been requested for a really long time. I did it ages ago and loads of people asked me to do a tutorial so I just thought today that I'd film it for you. You might also notice that I now have long hair thanks to the amazing Sarah Ethel. Um, I'll leave her Instagram down below so you can check her out but she is amazing at hair and I just feel so different but I feel like a princess now that I have long hair. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, let me know in the comments below what other videos you want me to film for you. I'm gonna start off by prepping my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Function. Love this. Um, and you just put it all over and then I'm gonna blend it in with a brush. I'm just using a matte white eyeshadow and this is the Bell, yeah, Bell brush from Nima. And I'm just using that to set the um, eye primer just so it's not tacky when I put the shadow on top. Because this is like, it's like an inverted reverse smoky eye, whatever you want to call it. And um, basically the shadows need to start like in the inner corner here and there's not going to be really much shadow here. So I'm going to just work it all right in here, if that makes sense. I'm gonna use my first colour, so this is Frappe from Makeup Geek. Mine's like literally nearly empty because I use it so much. But I'm just gonna use um my Donna brush. I'm not gonna remember the name there. My Donna brush and I'm gonna just work this right into the inner corner. So I'm just working it right into the crease, but we're just kind of keeping it on the inside of the eye. I'm just gently blending it out towards the outside, but not too harsh. I'm just like really gently buffing whatever's left just kind of towards the outer corner just so it has a little bit of shadow because you want it to just kind of blend in nicely rather than just like loads of shadow here and nothing here. So I'm gonna add a little bit of like a cranberry kind of colour just to kind of break up something different from the brown. So this is Bitten from Makeup Geek again, like I've used so much because I love it. And um, so I'm just gonna use the Jenny brush from Nima, so it's a much smaller brush. So I'm keeping this in the inner corner. And I'm just kind of working it like over, not going too much higher than the first colour we used because we don't want to hide it completely. And then I'm just like really gently just kind of spreading the shadow. Like I'm barely like putting pressure on my hand like with the brush on my eye so I'm just kind of dusting it lightly just so it doesn't go too strong. Using the first brush that I used um, with the shade Frappe on it I'm just kind of blending over the kind of burgundy colour just so it's really smooth and there's no harsh line at all. I'm going to use the colour Sienna from Anastasia Beverly Hills so this is kind of like a, a burnt orangey kind of it's more of an earthy tone but I just like the way it blends in with the burgundy because it just looks so nice. So I'm keeping this much closer into the inner corner because I don't want to go over all the kind of burgundy colour that I just did I don't want to ruin that. So this is just kind of adding a little bit of depth to it, just by making it slightly darker. Now that Sienna is like blended right in, I'm just going back with this brush. This is the first brush I use just to make sure it's like really blended, really soft, there's no harsh lines because I hate that. It like freaks me out. <laughs> shade hot chocolate from Anastasia Beverly Hills so this is just like a really nice brown um, and I'm gonna just work that right in so again I'm going like lower every time it's almost like a ladder because you want to kind of have a transition so it's not all one so now that the brown is blended in I'm just gonna go in with a tiny bit of a matte black so I use 63 from Ingloss um, and I'm just gonna really keep this like a tiny bit in the very very inner corner of my eye I'm just using like a flat brush and like a really creamy colour eyeshadow and I'm just kind of going over any harsh light, like any kind of bits that kind of fell down that shouldn't have, just to make it a little bit more neat. Do my liner, uh, I love for this look doing a really dramatic wing liner and um, because cause there's like no focus on shadow here, it just makes it look a little bit more dramatic. Um, so I'm gonna use the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner so I'm gonna start off by just kind of drawing like a map, mapping out pretty much where I want. Just 
Do I need to go? Well, I've brought the wing out quite a bit, so then I'm just going to join it back in. I'm going to go over to flip just to make sure that it's really straight. Where I do the second wing, you can see like the difference. It's crazy. <laughs> no, it just looks a bit longer. <laughs> Not actually happy with this wing because it's just look a little bit chunkier. Like this one's a little bit more like pointy. So I'm just using a bit of concealer and this flat concealer brush, and I'm just gonna try and like make it a little bit more straight. Okay, so I'm happier with that now. It's just a little bit more precise. I hate when it looks a little bit blunt because it's just not as like, I don't know. I just like my wings to be really pointy. Bit of my trusty old 77 gel liner from Inglot. And I'm just gonna put this in my waterline because I want my eyes to be quite smoky and dramatic. Sure, why not? I don't like I've anywhere to be today. This is a really good one if you have watery eyes because it's waterproof liner, so it doesn't really come off. Oh, my eyes are watery. Well, I suppose my eyes just watered, and you can see that um, the liner hasn't budged at all, so that's always a good time. Go ahead and add some lashes. I'm gonna use the Socio lashes um, in. I think they're Kylie, I always forget because I reuse them all the time but I think they're the Kylie ones and um, they're really nice and full so what I'm going for is some duo glue Ooh. and I'm just like literally, I don't know if you can see this but I'm just running it around the like band of the lash and then I'm just going to leave that and let it set for like 30 seconds. And I'm just using a tweezers and I'm literally just going to place this on to the like Basically you're putting it onto the band of your natural lash because you don't want to have a gap because if you stick it onto your actual lid when you look up there'll be a gap between your lashes and your lid and that looks really strange. Just gonna put Okay so the lashes are now on Um, I'm just going to let them dry in and then when they're dry I'll go over the band with some liner just so you can't see like any like, marks anything from the lashes so they just look really natural. I'm not going to do my foundation but I'm going to go off camera to do that because it's in all my other videos so you can look at it there. And I'm just going to add a bit of concealer under my eyes so I'm using the NYX HD concealer. And I'm just going to mop this one in me. So before I contour my face, I'm just going to smoke it out underneath to my eyes. Um, I'm just going to use black shadow and then some of the colours that I used on the top as well. So I'm just using an angled brush and I'm just like putting some of the black, matte black eyeshadow right underneath my lash line. Bitten colour from Makeup Peak and I'm just blending that right underneath the black. For the inner corner of my eye, I'm going to use this colour from MAC, it's called Let's Roll, it's a dazzle shadow, so it's a really nice sparkly pink, so I'm going to just pop this right in the inner corner. I'm going to fill in my brows, I'm going to use um, Inglot Gel Liner number 90, so it's a really dark brown, and then I'm just using an angled brush as well, and I'm just going to put the product, like starting off on me. When I get to the front of the brow, I just kind of brush the product up. I don't really put a lot of product in the front of my brow because I don't want them to look really fake. And you know, when they just kind of look too squared, I don't like that look at all. So, I'm going to match it on the top. The brush is going over 
just the top just to make sure it's like really neat. I love to use my brows is it's called Ready Set Brow from Benefit. And it's just like a clear brow gel. But I love to put this on my brows just after I put the product in them. And it just kind of moves the hairs. It just makes all your brow hairs sit perfect. I'm going to use the Kat Von D shade and light palette that's in here, we really like colours and um, I'm going to use this middle one here, it's called Shadow Play and I'm just using this angle brush and I'm just working the product right underneath my cheekbone, just bringing it forward up to the side of my temples and then onto my forehead as well eyes are pink I'm gonna use this highlighter here so this is from Laura Geller it's called peach glow and I'm just gonna apply this onto my cheek now I'm gonna do my lips and um, I'm just gonna use strip down from Mac and then I'm gonna use honey love as well Okay, so this is the finished look. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I'll leave links to all the products I used and to my social media channels as well if you want to come and follow me. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye. Oh no!